Hey, yo, the king is here. KSI, <laughs> good evening. KSI, oh. just, JJ, just so you know, we're trying to get Joe Fournier in. He says, he's tweeting at the moment. I've given him access to my personal account because he doesn't use Twitter. And he's currently tweeting all sorts of nonsense. So I'm trying to get him in here quickly, but he's, he's saying he's got some words for you. Does he even know how to use Twitter? No. This fucking boomer. <laughs> Oh, no man. comment. I'm excited. I'm excited for press the press conference, man. Because I I can't lie, especially after the last press conference, man. I bro, I got a lot of shit to say, man, to everyone. I'm talking about free round Pappy. I'm talking about swarms. I'm talking Joe Fournier. They're all getting it, man. I'm I'm on smoke, bro. And I'm I can't wait to get in that ring and show all the smoke as well, fam. It sounds like you're after everyone. It, it of sounds course. like you're coming for them. Of course. And then I get to laugh at Jake Paul as well while I'm doing it because obviously your boy's still on the feed. I'm about to call out Tommy Fury, tell that pussy that I want some of that, and then we go from there. You um, you posted, I saw you put something on Twitter about uh, the only time, one of the only times I lose in a video. And it did this number of views. How did you think that face-off went? I thought that face-off did very well. Um, yeah, it got quite a lot of views. Uh, it, you know what's funny? It did more views than the one with me and Temper. I thought that was pretty jokes. <laughs> and yeah, it wasn't even... Yeah, like, it was on the channel that had, like, what? 20,000 subscribers? Yeah, well, it was on the zone, the new, uh, the new zone one. How did it feel when you were sitting across from uh, from Joe? Um, obviously, I had a lot of just anger, a lot of anger, uh, but excitement at the same time because I just know, like you know, I'm gonna get my own back. Obviously, after that push, I was just there, like, yeah, just you wait, buddy, just you wait till I get my own back and I get to fucking punch the shit out of that stupid smile on his face every time, man. <laughs> like even like his his pearly white teeth, I can't wait to just beat the shit out of that. I can't wait to repeatedly punch him, just <laughs> bludgeon him with my fist. <laughs> JJ, why do you feel like you took an L on the, on that face off? Nah, because obviously he was just taking he was taking a piss out of me the whole time, saying that you know I couldn't knock him out even if I had a baseball bat to his head, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, whatever. I gotta say, I, I mean, it says it's my account. It's not. It's not me. I'm a Misfits one. But Chris Ridgway slash Joe Fournier is in the room. He's here. He's muted. Yeah, he's yeah. But does he, he doesn't know how to unmute himself. Come on, buddy. You got this. There we go. Press the mic button. There we go. It's not that hard being a YouTuber. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. This. I mean, this is a little bit of the part of how to be a YouTuber, but let's go. What are we saying? How's training, bro? Literally, I ha couldn't have trained any better in my life. I feel like, mm. I feel like Rocky IV. Rocky IV. Yeah. Ex explain. Well, I'm the better looking one out of the two. I couldn't have trained any the harder. Baby. I mean, you're the one who's single, so. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? It's cl clearly not working, man. Do you have a girlfriend? Of course. Oh. So disappointed in you. Why well, you're, you know, <laughs> you're single. I, I mean, you had a girlfriend. I did. Where did they go? I smartened up. Now I have several girlfriends. We have like a squad. Buddy, you're what, Foy? And you're still with uh, no one? How cute. Hey. That's, that's how cute. Hey, how, hey, cute. how cute. Come to me when you break up, buddy. You come, come to one of my clubs. I'll cheer you up. No problem. Nah, bro. Your club's dying. I don't want a piece uh, of that. Oh, it's okay. Why are you being, being so mean? I'm, I'm sensitive. Just for, yeah, be sensitive. For the record, you're gonna, and bro, when I when I punch you repeatedly in the face, oh. then you're gonna be like, "Oh, this fucking sucks." Oh, really? And then you're gonna understand that, yeah, like you can't just stand there and take my power because I, you know, when I'm fucking you up, it's it's different. Really? I'm so scared. I'm thinking of cancelling. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you're not the first. I mean, every opponent I have decides to pull out. So, do you want to be the third? Third time's the chance. Just make sure you keep pulling out before before you have to pay child support as well, son. 
Ah, bro, I, I ain't had to do none of that. I ain't got to do none of that, bro. I'm clean, bro. Uh, I ain't got no kids. Me, I'm blessed. Me neither. Me neither. That's why I'm rich. I got no divorces. I didn't have yeah, to spend Yeah, yeah, but money. you're sad and lonely, bro. You're sad and lonely. I'm, I'm definitely not lonely. <laughs> I mean, what? I mean, you're the, you're, the, you're the one with no goal, man. Where, why where they why go? have one? Then you can have several. Why pigeonhole yourself for one? Oh, what? So, so, so they they didn't leave you because you were just boring as fuck. They're, who left me? No one's left me. You left them. Yeah. You no, left them, no, right? I, I don't have several girlfriends. I just don't have one. No, no. So what happened to your exes then? Just I didn't. They didn't want to just be. They wanted to be exclusive. I like kind of more. You know, I like it to be less exclusive. I like it to be more kind <laughs> of like a team. I like teamwork. You know. Teamwork, but, mate, dream work. Have you have you looked at your age? Have you looked at how handsome I am? Okay, okay. And... <laughs> Wait, guys, guys, guys. JJ, I always take your side on everything, but I just want to say that being over 40 and single is calm. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you guys, you guys, you guys got kids and all that, bro. This brother got nothing. What do you mean? Mams is forty and single, and he's got like seventeen horses. He's never been happier in his life. <laughs> yeah, but he's got he's got he's got uh, a child. Oh yeah, he does have a child. I just, yeah, what do you have, mate? Just, you just have a, a lot, a, a lot this, of money in a big this, boat. All this money, <laughs> just, and it's just you by yourself, bro. Yeah, well, you know. Joe, why I, did you take this I, fight? Why did you take this fight, Joe? I thought it'd be fun. I'm, I'm, you know, as you said, I'm 40. Like, you need challenges in life. Some people climb Mount Everest. And uh, this would be a good, a, good, a good fun fight for me. Obviously, you guys are hilarious. I love it. I know nothing about, I don't even have Twitter, so I know nothing about the space. But actually, some of the people that are on your channels are pretty hilarious. And you know who I actually know out of everyone that's on this is Keem, Keemstar. I used to watch on Snapchat. I used to have Snapchat because you could text girls and then there was no, and then no <laughs> one would see what you really wrote when you're being creepy. And then, uh, and I would watch drama like, all the time. And you made me really sad when you said you were leaving. I was like, you can't leave. Like, all the way through COVID, all the things that you were used to write about. So, you're the only one I know, actually. I appreciate that, Joe. Do you see this as, like, a real challenge? Do you see this as a tough fight? Or because you have that experience in, you know, traditional boxing? I'll, I'll, tell, you, I'll, tell, you, I'll tell you hand on heart what the real challenge is. Is KSI as a person, yeah, outside of this fight, I always liked him. Right. So and I still do. Like We're obviously building a fight. And I'm, when I get in there, I'm going to punch him in the face like I absolutely d dislike him. That's not going to change anything. But usually, like I fought other people that I didn't like. You know, what I mean, like when there were like, for example, when I fought Raycon, we got in a bar fight. that was for real a bar fight over a girl. So when I was going in there to bust him up, I was super happy. Whereas like with case, I kind of like him. So it's like the trash talking is a little bit like. Yeah, yeah, but I don't like you, buddy. It's okay. You don't have to like me. It's, I, I, yeah, not, yeah, not, not yeah. many people do. I don't like to be liked. But I'm just saying, so So now now with the, with the fight with him, no, it's bro, only his business. So I'm coming to so knock Everyone about. you like, everyone you like, you push, him, you push like that, right? Oh, you sad about that? So, yeah, so, I'm a bit pissed off. Why? why I'm a bit pissed, pissed off. <laughs> Tell me about no, it. No one fucking, no one fucking tell, pushes me and gets away with it. Tell that. me about your feelings. Okay, you want to talk about your feelings? I mean, Let you it all out. Happened to Joe Weller when he fucking pushed me. Let it me. all out. You can take a deep breath. Let it out. What? Did I hurt your feelings? Or did I make you sad? All right, what? Well, what? Do you want me to let you know what the deal is? All yeah, right, tell me. Your nightclub is dying. That's not true. You're a self, -pro <laughs> you're a self proclaimed billionaire. Mm -hmm. Your your ex has probably cheated on you. That's why uh, they left because you're just so fucking boring. All right. The only thing you've got going is your boxing. And when I take you that away, you just said I've got a load of money. You're gonna and, be a uh, shell of a you man. You just said I've got a load of money. I'm gonna make else. you a fucking meme. Yeah. And I will laugh all over social media. And I'm gonna do a fucking reaction video yeah. to the fight. And it's just gonna be me laughing. That's it. I'm not even gonna say any words. Yeah. I'm gonna just you, be laughing. But you contradict yourself over I'm and over again. Watching myself knock you out, yeah. and it's gonna get over a million views. And that's what you're. But whole how am I gonna miss about. that huge forehead of yours? Because you're gonna have, you're not, you're not gonna have a bandana. You're not gonna have a bandana on, so I can't miss. I could close my. Maybe I'll do it blindfolded and fight you, and I'll just smash that cranium in over and over. Again. Bro, even <laughs> even even if you hit me, it don't matter. Bro. Really? Yeah, I can take a lot of damage, brother. Sure, of course, from Pineda.
who just left, you know, who just fought his first fight against you, never like fought anyone, he still couldn't put away. Took you three rounds. Now you're gonna knock me out. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how hard it is to put away someone that doesn't want to fight? I don't know. He looked fine in his last fight. Because that's the thing is, you're not experienced right. enough to knock me out. It's not going to happen. Yeah, but I don't need it. I don't need it's it. Gonna you don't, I any means, need my any, power, my you know, you know what's going to happen when I beat you? I'm not going to make one meme. I'm not going to make fun of you. I'm just going to take... I'm, I'm going I'm to take your whole, whole, whole organization over because then I'm going to be... I'm going to take the belt with me. Stop, I'm going to take the belt with me. And, mom's life, and you're I'm not going to be. Mom's I, life, you're not going to be. I'm going to say thank you. Mom's I, life, and you're I'm not going to be. And I'm going to be gracious in, 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 in winning. And I'm going to be super happy. I'm gonna, and I really appreciate the opportunity. It's impossible. Yeah. Joe, it's how impossible. Many, Joe, how many it's, rounds? It's not in the timeline. I think he's going to get knocked yeah. down the first round. He's going to get himself knocked no, down. No, yeah, really? Yeah, Brother, so. what are we doing here? Yeah. Are, you, are you serious? Do you know who I am? Yeah. You're, you're, how dare you disrespect me like dude, that? You're, I, you're, the, you're the king of FIFA. I know that. That's all I know. Oh, man. I can't. I, I, I'm uh, actually an Arsenal fan. No, it actually pains me no, that you're an fuck, Arsenal fan. No, fuck. Yeah, it pains no, me. Fuck, it pains fuck. me an Arsenal fan. No, I thought I, how's your sparring been? How's your sparring been? Yeah, what sparring? I thought, why would I spar to spite you? i got to keep all the no, brain no, cells I, left. No, let's be honest. I know you're sparring, bro. Yeah. Don't you think I got eyes? I got eyes, bro. I know oh, you're yeah, sparring. You can watch everything I'm doing. Bro, um, do you know who the fuck wait. I am? Yeah, I absolutely do. The guy's going to get knocked out yeah, on May yeah. 13th. So, yeah, so do, what? Do you think I don't have money? You think I don't have people around? Uh, you think I... So what? So what, what's your point you're trying to make? You have... What's your point? How is your sparring, bro? Great, I've enjoyed it. Joe, Joe, when we were in America with you a few mm. weeks ago, you said you were training at about six. Yeah, seven. that's exactly what I'm still. Ramped it up? That's exactly what. That's exactly what I'm still training because I like to be efficient. Yeah, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. You're lying. Bro. What do you think I'm doing? What do you think I'm doing? If you know so much, you're 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 saying this so that when I knock you out, you're like, oh, I was only at sixty. But that's not going to happen. You wouldn't beat me a hundred percent. No, 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 no. If you beat me, I'm going to say you bet my one. Whatever happens, but you're not going to beat me, so I don't need to think about that conversation. How, how are you going to say that through a tube? What's which kind of tube? YouTube. I'm talking on, <laughs> in a hospital bed. Oh, really? You're going to put me in hospital now? You're talking big talks, you see. And then people, when they talk big talks, they always end up the wrong side of their talk. So keep doing it. I like it. It's, well, I mean, every time me I've done it, Joella, I talked to Big Talk and I beat him. Who is uh, that? Logan. Who is that? I, I, I beat Who him. Who is that? Uh, Tampa. Who is that? Uh, Who is that? Pineda, Who, Swarms. You know, I, Who, every who, who is that? Who's the, who are these people? Who of them have ever boxed before? Come on, be serious now. Well, what, it, Logan it, hasn't Paul? Really been fa- it hasn't really been fair to JJ because he's had Alex Wasabi pull out, Dylan Dennis pull but he's not, out. But you know, neither of them are boxers either. So, so what if they pulled out? They weren't boxers. you got to remember something, yeah? That's like me saying to you, I have a billion people on Twitter but and you tell me to go and do something on Snapchat. It's not. It's a different platform, right? So boxing and MMA is different. YouTube and boxing is different. That's why you call it crossover because it crosses over different different skill sets. But playing cricket and baseball doesn't work. Rugby and NFL doesn't work. Okay, JJ. So, okay, what? J- JJ, when when this when this um, when this fight first was announced and when it first started, I got the feeling that like it wasn't personal. This was just a really big test for you to show you what to show what you could showcase. Now I feel like it may be, I don't know. Are you taking this fight this fight personally? Do you, well, is, I mean, is, for me, legit, you know, after I beat Temper, I'm there like, hmm, you know, I'm looking at the Woodley fight. I'm looking at you know a few other names. Uh, and then Joe Fournier is just on my ass, bro. He's on my dick, slobbing on it, choking on it. Super weird. Please. You say some really weird Give things, bro. Fight. I need this fight. I need it. You say some really I weird things. I will show you the levels. I will I show you to. what boxing's all about. Oh, blah, 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 blah. So, you know what? I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I came through. We, you know, we're, we're starting the fight. And now I'm just there like, this guy really, truly believes he has a chance against me. And that's, you know, the disrespect pisses me off. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're so I stupid. want you to, I want you to fucking you bend funny. over and take you are funny. I'll give this you that. fucking dick when wow. I'm fucking going at you 100 miles an hour, bro. You say some really weird things, bro. Like, you see, you know, like, 
why do you keep talking about penises and slobbering and then you know wonder if i have a girlfriend I'm, you know if you want to if you want to level up and you know and kind of like well, i mean ask, sometimes ask, ask i mean me sounds like, day, you know? maybe <laughs> just get to well, the point it sounds like that <laughs> maybe that's the route that you want to go i don't know dude i don't know you know what it actually sounds like to I me i mean what you're let a 40 me, year old man let me tell you, no let me tell you, wife no kids let me tell you my 40 year old experience that i have what i i hear i hear a very very scared little boy who's now getting very angry because it's getting reality of getting punched by a real man <laughs> <laughs> and now all the fear. So now when I was right, when I was right in front no, of you, but, uh, when I was right in front of you, no, London, impossible. when I was right no, in front no, no, of you, no, no, London, you, couldn't just, so you couldn't even get a sentence. You couldn't even get a sentence together. So much excitement. Now you're on a you're Twitter fucked. portal. My bro, the excitement, yeah. bro. I can't wait to just go through you and then call out Tommy Fury, go through him and then shit yeah. on Jake Paul's career yeah. and call him the fraud that he yeah. fucking is. That's what my whole excitement is about bro. you know what it's let me tell you why let me tell you why i can't wait different to do. people i can't wait to knock you out i don't lose i can't i can't, I can't, I can't wait to knock you you're out not knocking me out and then walk you're over to your corner mom's life you're and, not knocking and, and me walk out over. mom dad's life you're not and walk me over out. to your corner and say thank you very much i really appreciate the opportunity and shaking your hand and telling you stick with it because because you you say stick with it stick with it one day you might get to the level Bro, the only time you're gonna, the only thing you're shaking is your fucking. All the. Oh, I mean, <laughs> see, stop, <laughs> exactly, stop talking about my penis, bro. You're really weird. Nah, nah, you're nah. Super I don't want to say you're, something you're bad. You're super bro. weird. You're super weird. Nah, guys, I'm not weird, I have bro. to. I'm I have just... to spar. I have to go fucking spar, guys. Can I get off? Enjoy. Yeah. Fine. Sure. I keep it better with this. I don't know if I can. Or I can stay on here while I'm fighting. I mean, I can hold the phone while I'm sparring. No, that's okay. Fact, listen, we'll see you fight week. It's, it's, it's Fuck yeah. Upon us. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay, sorry guys. I Yeah, I have to get off, but I wish everybody good luck. I'm going to fuck some shit up. Good luck. Joe, can Thanks, I ask guys. you a question? Yeah. Yes. Key, 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 before, you, key, before you jump on, oh. let me just get something in real quick. For the people that are just joining, Joe Fournier is on my account. <laughs> it's not me and KSI having this back and forth. Anyway, sorry, Keem. Uh, yeah, you. I just want to make it clear. Chris R Ridgeway has been talking a lot of shit to JJ. <laughs> <laughs> no, Joe, um, since I'm the Dromler guy, yeah. right? You know, all the scandals and stuff that I covered. There was um, a video clip, and I don't remember. Either you were hitting a bag or was sparring footage, mm. and it was sped up. And people were like, why the fuck is Joe speeding up this footage? Yeah. What happened with it? It wasn't sped up. She proved to me it was sped up. And I have the original. <laughs> But, uh, I, have the original. I have the original. I have the original. You fast forward. No, 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 no. Listen, listen to the Just song. Listen, listen to the song in the background. It's a song in the background. There's people talking. Are they talking like little chipmunks or is it a normal song? So let me get this straight. The guy that doesn't know how to, how to use Twitter has now sped up a video but slowed down the song. Do me a favor. Bro, it was on your story. Yeah. You can still hear the music. And it was a little sped up. You no, know, it wasn't. Hear it. Prove it. Bro, there's no way you're going to be moving like you're fucking the Flash. Well, you're going to find out, aren't you? <laughs> you're going to find out. Was it a... What was the song in the background? Was that a sped up remix? Yeah. It was a David Guetta collaboration. <laughs> Hear the song and then you'll see oh, that it wasn't man. sped up. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, man, I'm excited for this. Way more excited for it now. JJ, J they asked Joe, like, how far do you see this going? He said he's knocking you out in the first round. How far do you see this going, JJ? You know, if I'm being honest, obviously I know, like, if I'm being real, I know he has good boxing experience. So I know this isn't going to be a one-round thing because he just won't let it. He, he, he's going to keep defensively minded, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like Give me what three, four rounds. I mean, you know, like I'll be able to really just put the pace on him, man. And I just don't think you'll be able to survive at the pace that I go. I love the way you talk like you're Andre Watt. It's so hilarious, bro. <laughs> the shit, what? the shit you say. You talk like you're Andre Watt or Dimitri Bivol. <laughs> like, it's so hilarious. It's like someone told you some boxing terms and now you use them all the time. Like, put on the pace, show the levels. What are you talking about? What are you actually talking about? Nothing you say makes any sense. It's a six-round okay. fight. What pace? It's not like we're going 12 okay. rounds and it's going to make a difference in the 10th, 11th, or 12th. Six rounds. 
Anyone that's yeah, boxed, you can't, su- anyone you that's can't boxed, survive at my Anyone pace. that's boxed for more than did two years can do six rounds. Temper? Did you see how Buddy. fast that was? Buddy, you're talking about the Call of Duty world champion. We've had this discussion before. Let's stop talking about FaZe. Yes, yeah, cool. Let's not cool. talk cool. about Call of Duty world champion, whatever. Listen, let's not talk about, let's talk about real boxers. Did, I mean, did you see how I knocked him out? I, I, I guarantee And I said to you on the night, congratulations. Like I didn't say, oh shit, I'm scared. That's so scary. No, you were surprised. I, I you were said, surprised. did I not congratulate you? You couldn't believe it. You listen, couldn't believe I say, that I knocked him out. Listen, in that fight. listen can, uh, did I not say congratulations, but did I look worried? I didn't give a fuck about your congratulations, oh, mate. See, now you're just being mean. You see, you're not a gentleman. That's where, that's where you're going to get caught out in life, you see. Because one thing you've got to do in life is be gracious. And you've already been getting upset at a lot of different people. Uh, oh, yeah. yes. Let me, yeah. let me so, so, listen no, to take, the knowledge of so, a 40 year old. Yeah. Man with no wife and kids. What, and, what does wife and kids uh, see now? You're now you're upsetting now. Now you're man. upsetting everyone who's forty years have old with no even, wife and kids. Do you even have? Do you want to? Do you want to upset anyone else? A billion in your bank in and your of life. Of course I have. Do you want to upset anyone else? Oh, do you want to upset anyone else? So what? now we've upset and what? any all, more all, communities. All the, do you want to upset? <laughs> what are you going to do next? A bit, a billion. A, no, 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 no. Let's talk. Let's talk. A billion. So. What you've got it just from yeah. your club. It's the same your valuation of your drinks. It's just from your the club. same valuation your of your drinks. Your club is worth what? So, you think my club is my only business, bro? That's how oh, my, what's your other business? Let's what talk. do you mean? I've got, a goal, I've got a, one of the biggest mining businesses in Africa. Do you know that? Do you know about that? Okay, what's it called? What's it called? Buddy, which one? What are you talking about? Which one? Okay, let's talk. Which one? Tell who, me. Who, who are hey, you? Who are you? A- list, a- list them all, who, brother. Who are you? A- HMRC? All. <laughs> Who are you, HMRC? Which which billionaire? Which anyone? That's how I know you have no money because no one in the world is goes out and just tells their business to the world. At the end of the day, I got nothing to prove to you because in nine days, ten days time, I'm knocking you out, and then I'm going to shake your hand. I'll even buy you a beer afterwards. For me, this is just business. I don't drink, so right, well, I, congratulations, that. congratulations. No, no, yeah. Never trust anyone who doesn't drink. Anyway, so. wait. So, Joe, are you saying, Joe, are, are you saying if you get this win, one round knockout, JJ, yeah. or whatever, that's it? You're you're not boxing again. You, you wouldn't want to do another one of these events. I know. Like, Jake Paul said, "Let's fight after once you knock out JJ." Uh, Mam said, let, "There's a fun thing going on in Ibiza. If you want to fight again, which you know, I'll be in and around Ibiza, which could be cool." Like I've always said, this has always been for me, just fun. So if there's a cool event, Misfits event in, in Ibiza, why not? If there's a, a fight against Jake, why not? If there's a fight against, you know, as long as it's fun and it's entertaining. See, because when you get a bit older, and this is what this young pup will understand, is fighting isn't about how crazy or, or tough you are. Fighting is, is, a, is a sweet art, right? And when you're relaxed and you're, I'm not trying to fight to show I'm tough. I don't do like I don't care. You want to find out how tough I'm going to come in the ring with me. He's going to find that out. Why I'm fighting is to inspire others, to inspire other forty-year-old men who who are shit down on their luck to go. Listen, you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it, if you train hard. To inspire young kids that have never had anything in their life to then go. Look, I grew up in Hounslow in the hood in the ghetto. I didn't go to a posh private school, and look what I've managed to achieve by working hard by putting my mind to it. So that's why I'm fighting. So if it's a good platform, it's a good bit of fun. It's inspirational to others. Like I think Misfits is inspirational to others because. Just business-wise, he put on his boys. He's a YouTube guy. He put on all the YouTubers. Now they're making more money. Now they're getting, you know, good, good things happening to their life off the back of it. So why would I not fight on Misfits again? It's something I believe is doing, is doing things for the right things. So Well, even when you get knocked out, you're going to... That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. It's a bit boring that you keep saying that. After you knock me out, I'll knock you out. Like, I think there's listeners want to listen to something a bit more interesting. Oh, okay, okay. Do you want me to hit you with a right hand, left hand? You know, make you dance for me. Dude. Left hook, See right now, hook. you see you, you. You're already talking, and you're like you, you. I really believe you want to date me. You got to stop that. You got to stop. I'm not that I'm way. Not, I don't wanna, I'm not that I way. Don't date I don't want to date. I don't want your girlfriend to get upset. Start, start. You know, you know, get jealous and nah, everything. She wouldn't get upset. She's excited to see me knock another. How man long out. have you had a girlfriend for? For years. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, I keep on the low. I'm smart. Yeah, no, you, that's how you should do it. I didn't, I didn't say you're done. The only dumb move you've made is actually taking this fight. You should have waited. You should have waited. Sick. You should have. You should have waited and just fought Jake Paul as like a goodbye hurrah. What? Then, so what? You think you're better than Jake Paul? Well, I'm. Without doubt, I wouldn't. 
Uh, 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 no, uh, come on, doubt. get your words without out. Doubt. I'm saying you should have just gone straight to Jake Paul. Your mistake was fine. Well, Jake Paul doesn't want it. Jake Paul, Jake Paul's running. He's fighting Nate Diaz in MMA fire. So what am I going to do? Wait for him. No, I'm just saying that's what I would have done if I was in the bar. Just wait for him to in the big fight. You said you want to retire anyway after you fight him. So. Joe, if you win this thing, are you offering a rematch? Um, he won't want a rematch. How's he going to rematch? You know what? 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 What is going on? He won't want, want well, a rematch. I, I can't believe I'm living in in a world where people believe that he actually has a fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to ask. I just had to ask. No, but like, but like, why, why, why would he want a rematch? Man, this timeline sucks. Why, why would he want a rematch? I don't understand why he'd want one. He'll probably want to go fight some someone else who's very good at video games. JJ, Joe said he's going to knock you out in one round. Are you putting a prediction on round numbers for your win? I just know I'm knocking him out. I'm not, I'm not even going to give a round. You know, I I think last last time when I said I'll knock out Temper in one round and did it, I maybe showed too much. So this time I want to keep, you know, my cards to my chest. What do you make of that, Joe? No, it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. You can say, like, nothing he says is interesting to me. So, like... I thought he was more interesting, like pre-signing this fight. Now I just find him like boring. Like, oh, I'm gonna knock you out. I'm tough. Watch this. I'm the crazy guy. Or watch, you'll see. You know. And then for me, it's just like, oh, this guy's boring me now. He's not interesting. Same in the press conference. Had to carry your own press conference for your own show. Yeah, Jay. Why, JJ? Why is uh, Joe the right opponent right now? Like, what qualifies him for this fight? I mean, it's just his record, man. You know, I saw 9-0. I was like, all right, that looks somewhat impressive. Uh, you know, the WBA thing, I thought that was pretty impress- impressive as well. And then, yeah, I don't know. I just, yeah, I, I, I just felt like he'd be a little bit of a challenge. So I was like, you know, while I'm, you know, like, well, I mean, even during the whole temper situation, people were like, "Oh, I've got to fight Joe. I've got to fight Joe." I, I think we tried, and that it didn't work. No, out no, I was ready. Actually, you pulled out. I was ready. I was the alternate. I did. I didn't pull out. Or whoever your your team of advisors pulled you out. You, you would. You know what? I that fight would have been close because I was in Tulum, getting totally drunk. I hadn't trained in months. So you were like perfect. That would have been perfect for you. I mean, you would have you would have used that as an excuse. No, I, now I, get I don't a, make excuses. Fresh, I don't make excuses. Fresh and ready, Joe I, don't, I don't make excuses. Who is going to enter the ring May thirteenth with your boy? I don't make. I'm excited. No, no excuses. Now. I don't. I don't make excuses. You see, because Joe, you're professional. Joe, Joe, let me ask you this question then, and it's only fair that we ask it both ways. But given that that's being said. Mm. Are we going to have this commitment now, where who, who, someone someone is going to lose? Yeah. Okay. That, unfortunately, that's the way it goes. Someone's going to lose if it is you at the end of the fight. Still going to shake his hand. Do we guarantee? Do we guarantee? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate that, but we guarantee there's not going to be a. Well, I had this arm injury, or I had this no, pull no. back, or, or, or whatever. I'm coming in. I'm coming in to fight the best version of myself at this moment in time that is going to go in and is going to beat this guy. And if I don't get that, then on the night, he's the better person. And if I do get that, then on the night, I was the better person. And that's the end of it. No, no. And every night, I'm the better person. Well, you're going to see May 13th. Like, you're going to see, you're going to see. You can keep that confidence, keep that energy, bring all of that to the ring. I that's will. all I'll you got to do. You got to bring, bring I'll bring it to the way. Oh, you're going to come to this I'll press conference. To you're going to come to this press conference. Because the last one, you know, like, you're going to cry the whole time. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and when I could, and and remember when I could have put the when I could have put the stake and I didn't. Yeah, so pipe down, son. Well, what's the stake? Oh, you. I think you know. Yeah, yeah right. keep it classy. I mean, I keep it all, classy. I think we all know. Keep it classy because this is business. And if you want to make it personal, mm-hmm. we can make it very personal. So this is going to be a great fight. Yeah. Great fight. I can't wait. Yeah, because <laughs> this is business for me. And, it's, and I'm doing it for all the right reasons. And don't forget that. And don't forget you need to just show up and come and win. And that's all you got to do. And that's what I'm going to do. This, if this space off is anything to go by, it, it really is. Mams, what are you making? Because you've listened all the way through in this. And then you, what, what are you hearing here? I'm hearing, I'm hearing actually that, that both 
fighters believe that they're going to win the fight, which that kind of confidence, you know, you go in as long as no one's... I don't know. Deep down, I think I think both of them have a respect for each other's ability, and I think I think that's how they've got to be in order not to get caught and underestimate the opponent. Because you never you never know what could happen in the ring at the end of the day. And you know, I think it's a great test for for JJ. JJ wanted to test himself, and then we know the next fights that are lined up. Um, and I'm gonna say, obviously, God willing, JJ does pull through on this then the next fights we have lined up are even bigger tests and and you know and joe and i outside of out, right now we, we haven't been speaking for weeks because it's it's wartime mm -hmm. you know but outside of this joe and i have a good relationship as well and you know uh, you always for me personally my only thing that actually is hard like obviously when jj beat temper i i jumped and you could see footage of me like being super excited looking crazy but then after that settles in, I looked at Temper and I felt bad for Temper because he's a really nice guy. I've got a good relationship with too. So that's the hardest part for me is when someone wins and someone loses inevitably. Um, so, you know, when when that happens with uh, you, Joe, just know I'll be... Uh, We'll, we'll be back to normal. I'll shake your hand. And listen, everything will be all listen. Sport, sports, <laughs> every kind of sport is, is a sport. There's a winner and there's a loser. And at the end of the day, I was like, that's what I'm saying is that's why... For me, it's, it's business. I'm coming in there, business, you know, the push is business. Everything is business to me. I'm very calculated. I'm very accurate. So whoever you're supporting, you're going to support the guy you manage, of course. I know it's nothing personal. I'd be shocked. The same way I've known Alexis and Marius longer than I've known David Hay. But they're not on my side. They want me to get knocked out in the first round, too. I know it ain't personal. That's their job. Same way my job is to come and knock Yo, out. What is it like with... <laughs> Joe, what is it like with, like, everybody online against you, right? You know, KSI has a massive audience, yeah, yeah. an absolute legend in, in the United Kingdom. What is it like when you got all these people with voices and influences yeah. and they're all against you and they're like, ah, oh, Joe's well, No, no, no. I don't, think everyone's, I don't think everyone's against him. I'm sure he's got some Jay Paul fans that are hoping. <laughs> you know, can hoping. I tell you the truth? The real talk, actually, you're going to laugh at this. The real talk is my hidden request messages were always cute girls trying to slide in the DM. Now, since he's posted me, I've got 10,000 new followers. And they're all like 12 year olds. They tell me I'm going to die and that I'm a cunt and that, and I'm old. <laughs> and I literally have like an army of 12 and 14 year olds just disrespecting me on the regular. I literally showed this chick that I know. I was like, look at this kid. How can I insult him? He's 12 years old. How can I call him a cunt back? <laughs> and it's hilarious. JJ, <laughs> JJ let, me, let, let me ask you something. Let me ask you. Since Misfits has started, obviously the Wasabi fight didn't happen you were, you were really keen to get in there there was a big sell on that fight and it didn't happen Pineda and Swarms came in at late notice there, although there was a little bit of head-to-heads uh, -head in, in face-offs and press conferences and things there wasn't enough time to to build up this sort of uh, beef that may have been there then Dylan Dennis came along and and it was it was on site there was coffee being thrown it was absolutely I'm going to get you and I'm going to do this from both sides. But then that fight didn't happen. And with Temper, it was a lot of respect going into it. Were you more up for the Dylan Dennis fight or for this fight with Joe Fournier? You know, I'd say I'm probably probably more up for both, both fights. Like, if I saw Dylan, I'd slap him in the face right now. You know, Damn. hand on heart. Like, I wouldn't even hesitate. And then with Joe, you know, I just, I need to get my own back. You know, you can't, no one pushes me and gets away with it. Simple as that. And, you know, the fact that he thinks he's going to knock me out in one round, it's disrespectful. You know, like all the hard work that I've put in, everything that I've worked on, and he thinks he can just get rid of my whole legacy in one round. Nah, brother. What's, what's going to happen if slash when you guys see each other in fight week? Oh no! I'm I'm just gonna be on smoke. I'm gonna show him, you know, show the world what I'm on about. You know how I how excited I am. You know I'm gonna talk to you know three, uh, three round pappy. I'm gonna you know talk to anyone that wants it. And yeah, I'm just gonna be on, bro. I'm just on charge. Literally, I think I tweeted uh, yesterday or today saying like this is the first time inspiring that. I went ultra instinct. Your boy fully just was so focused, so concentrated. Like I could see 
all the punches my opponent was throwing and I was just able to slip and just come through with, you know, shots to counter. It was just beautiful. And I was just so alert. And yeah, you know, it's tiring having to concentrate for six rounds, but my fitness is just better than it's ever been before. I'm stronger than I've ever been. My boxing IQ has improved tremendously. Like I'm just the best KSI ever right now. And, you know, no one is going to be able to beat me, especially Joe Fournier. I'm happy to hear that. I'm excited. I'm, I'm glad. Especially, I'm glad yeah. you had a really good. No one game. in this space will be able to beat me. Simple as that. Joe, have you ever have you ever had a fight with this much intensity in the build up to it? I'm not feeling intense. I'm. I, I, I feel. I feel no, like no, my I job's don't. done. I got right under his skin. Can you see how he's changed from the press conference? This is perfect I for don't. me. The mind games are working. Because <laughs> I, I mean, like with all this build up and all this. All this attitude, every, everything that you know, this this, this 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 must be the biggest fight that you've been in. Definitely, it's definitely the biggest kind of like headlining a pay per view fight on the zone is as big as it gets for anyone in the world. You know, obviously fighting David was a big fight, um, and yeah. I fought uh, at the O2 before, and I fought at the Atlanta Falcon Stadium. So size wise, I fought in bigger arenas, but actually, you know, fighting the probably number one YouTuber in the U United Kingdom who you know owns the promotion. That's the weirdest thing. I've never fought anyone that owns the promotion. Like, I hope the judges are going to be, like, fair if it gets to that point. You know what I mean? Even when you guys came, every time I looked at you, you handing me a fucking can of Prime. I was like, what the fuck's wrong with How these guys? Time? JJ, you should, know, you should know. I was Yeah, yeah of, JJ, uh, give them a pay rise. Yeah, give them a pay rise. Because every time I looked around, there was a fucking case of Prime somewhere. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the, the, the world loves Prime right now, man. <laughs> I'm drinking I, it. It's it's fueling me right now. You know, like that's just no. It was game, it bro. was put on by your production team. It wasn't some random people in the street. <laughs> Be honest, Joe. You like Prime? Listen, man. I know it makes you rich, and you're my brother. So I want Prime to go to a trillion because there's nothing better than a rich friend. Joe, Joe, <laughs> are you trying to say, Joe, are you trying to say that you're not in your prime? Me? Listen, I'm always in my prime because being in your prime is a mindset. You know, I don't feel like when you there get you to... There you go. He plugged it. He plugged <laughs> it. <laughs> Being in your prime is mindset. But if I did buy the company, I'd call it past my... <laughs> <laughs> no, but listen, think about, think, think about the reality. Actually, the good thing about this fight is that I am a lot... Although I am actually 40 on the birth certificate, I'm a lot fitter and healthier than most 40-year-olds. And I'm a lot more game and ready to fight. So it's going to be a great fight. I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. I'm super happy to finally fight at Wembley, which is, which is super cool. And I love the confidence. You know, at the end of the day, you know, 29-year-old Joe Fournier will be doing this and saying the same things as KSI. You know, you just get older, you get a bit more experience, you're a bit more calm around things. Things don't really get under your skin anymore because you've got less to prove, you know. But he, like, in his right, this is the biggest fight of his test of his whole career. He's got his promotion on the line. He's got his reputation on the line. He's got his health on the line, you know? Like, that's one thing. He talks about, you know, breathing out of a tube, this, that, yeah. Yeah, I want to knock him out, but I hope he's healthy. And because I saw him hug his mum after the last fight. I hope he's healthy and his mum still has a Sunday. You know, boxing's a real sport. And, uh, and then, you know, the reality is I'm coming to win. I'm not just coming to, to you know, I don't want him to die. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I, want, I just want to win and I want to, I want him to continue doing well, great why things. You, why are you assuming I want you to die, bro? No, but you say, no, oh, breathe I, out I, of I, the tube just, and all I that. Just, I just want you to, you I know, if I knock you out with a body shot, I'll be just as happy as I knock I you out to the head. suffer when you're in the ring. Simple Absolutely. Simple. And I want you to suffer in the ring. So that's fine. Uh, I won't be doing any suffering. I'll be laughing in your face. While I'm I want to watch, watch you laugh and do that. Please remember this, guys. I love, like, one thing about this community is you all remember everything. So remember everything he's saying. Okay? Please, write it down. Are you under, do you, are you, are you under KSI's skin? T totally. He's lost it. The guy's lost it. He's, he's no, cracked. No, he's cracked. He's not under my skin. Who, who was he? He's, he's like I'm Kevin so Keegan. I'm, he's like Kevin I'm Keegan. Calm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I get agitated. Times, <laughs> he's like Kevin yeah, Keegan. He's like old Kev. Poor Kevin Keegan. Who was it Kevin Keegan lost it against? Was it Arthur Menger or was it uh, Alex Ferguson? Ma Ma uh, Alex, Alex Ferguson. 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 At, the end, at the end of the day, do I lose? What? You've lost your, you've lost your cool, day, so I that's lose? already one win for me. But, but how many times have I lost? And that's going to happen in the ring, and right. that's what's going to get you knocked out. <laughs> that's what's going to happen in the ring. Though. I'm banking on that. I don't lose. I'm banking. You're going to lose your I cool, and you're going to get caught. I don't lose. Okay.
I know so many people that want me to lose. It ain't going to happen. So many people want me to lose, by the way. I think you have more fans than me, by the way. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, I, I mean, we all know you're going to lose. Oh, yeah, okay. Because as soon as I hit you, bro, it's it's night night, bro. Well, at first you got to hit. Me. I can't wait. I can't wait to see the change in your face when I hit you. Even with a jab, you're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" I've never seen you. this nigga got this much power. What the hell? Oh, the jab. You're you're very well known for your, your electric jab. <laughs> Joe, do you get nervous at all with like the the lights and the spotlight? To add on to what Ridgeway was saying earlier, this is the biggest stage you you've been on, right? No, I you fought. Know, I fought it. A... I fought it. Come on, I fought David Hay at the Hard Rock Casino. I fought, like I said, I fought. My third professional fight was at the O2 Arena. Eighteen thousand people, twenty thousand people, whatever it is. So no, I've, I've been here before. There... You've never got nerves? Like, you've never been nervous? No, I'm not that personality. I've been, oh, I'm very laid back, to be honest. I'm, gen I'm very laid back in all circumstances. I'm good on the pressures. My thing, kind of, just even in business or whatever. I like, like, in COVID, we made so much money because we were so calm about the decisions we made, you know? And I'm just kind of a calm personality. I'm pretty relaxed. I like when people get agitated. I find it funny. Yeah, I can't wait to see the panic in your face then. Yeah, there's no panic. I've never been panicked. You know, I'm always the one that's smiling and making jokes because at the end of the day, in life, all you have is experiences. And one of the beautiful things that's happening in this in this crossover boxing is these guys that have had great experiences behind the screen are now getting to be in front of the screen and actually perform. And these, these life experiences where they have one fight or ten fights or win a title or don't win a title, they're doing great things. You know, a lot of people don't like that guy, Anthony Taylor. But listen, he's living his dream. He had his career, his career finished, and now he's got a new career. And so it's like all these memories, all we take with us as, as you get older and you die. It's like, look at how cool shit I did. Look how cool shit I did. For me, it's like, oh, look how cool shit I did. I went to the Wembley, fought a pay-per-view, the zone show, and I knocked that KSI. Like, great. It's just a memory to me. <laughs> you know, it's just a memory. And then nice, what's the next nice. one, you know? Mm. Yeah. And you know what? And like I said, even if I knock him out to the body or the head, I'm not makes a difference to me. The, the goal is to go there and win. Go there and win, look good winning, win with style and class and grace. Yes, that's I it. I can't wait to see you fail. All right. I can't well, wait But that's to your see job, you isn't it? Your job is to come and win. So uh, oh, you're going to say that. Listen, there's a lot riding on you. Think about it. There's millions of dollars riding on you. I have no pressure. Millions of dollars no riding pressure. on you. Right, like, I have no like pressure. everyone's career is behind you, is riding on you. I have no pressure. I've trained too hard. Okay. Hopefully not too hard. Oh, I've trained very hard, bro. I like I, I you told can you, also, I've been on weight for. You can also um, overtrain. I I mean it's, I don't think it's possible for me, bro. Yeah, okay. You just beat physiological uh, studies. Yeah. Okay. No, it makes yeah, sense. It makes sense. Well, I'm Goku in this. Bitch. You can't fuck with that. Is it embarrassing if I don't know who Goku is? <laughs> nah, don't worry, man. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Like, man. Like, oh, by the way, what's ratio? <laughs> by the way, what's ratio? People saying I'm getting ratioed. What, what's ratio? <laughs> and another one, what's a boomer? I thought a boomer is like a compliment. Is that like, you, were you insulting me? Uh, I didn't yeah, get that yeah, one no, either. No, no, no. You you're a boomer, bro. You're what's a boomer? boomer? What does it mean? Yeah. I need to know what ratio no, means. No, and what you are, a guy bro. who... A boomer who is a guy who uh, knocks out someone really early in their box. Oh, okay. Like, you know, Keem, I liked you before this. Now I can tell when someone's mugging me off. <laughs> Come on. I'm still from London. <laughs> no, I, I, think, I think the reason why this fight is so exciting is because a, a, a lot of people don't have any experience with Joe whatsoever. All they do is, you know, see that record. And this is the most challenging opponent to date for KSI. So it's like people really don't know what's going to happen in this fight. And that's why people are so excited about it. Yeah. I'm excited about it. I think KSI sounds like he's excited about it too. I think this is, this is the thing that no one understood. This is why so many eyes tuned into Tommy and Jake is people want to see him finally test himself except against someone that's really going to punch back and, and take it seriously. And all Joe, mm. Joe, do you think you're better than Tommy? Listen, you know, imagine, imagine you're a professional athlete, yeah? Imagine you're a professional football. Go ask Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Are you better than Neymar? What's he going to say? The whole point of competing at the highest level is you think you're better than everyone. You know, like, if someone said to me next week, you're going to get 20 million to go fight Canelo, right, maybe today I'd think, like, fuck me, that's going to be a hard fight. Canelo's the best, probably, you know, or Dimitri Bivo or whatever, right? But then when you're training for 10 weeks or six weeks or eight weeks, when you're in camp, fighting, training, fitness, you start to believe that's the whole point of training camp is you get to the point where 
where KSI is now, which I've been many times more, you, you start to believe you can be anyone, right? And so do I believe I can beat Tommy? Yes. Do I believe I can beat Jay? Yes. Do I believe I can beat KSI? Yes. Do I believe KSI is the best of the YouTube boxers? Yes, I also do, do, do believe that. But I think that I'm better than all of these guys, and I wouldn't be still competing if I thought, wait, wait a minute, everyone is way better than me. It just doesn't make any sense. You know, the whole point is you have that mental edge, which I have. You know, I have that edge. I would go fight a world title fight against a real professional boxer in the next camp. If the money was right and the show was right and I got a real chance to win something great, why not? Because it's about the experience. It's not the end. You know, one thing people don't understand, I don't know if KSI has this uh, or if he's felt this, if he's going to be genuine with his feelings, is that when you win a fight, you're depressed the next day. Because it's all finished. What? Yeah, you defer, you're like, it's all finished. It's all over. All the excitement's I gone. Depressed. All the excitement, no, 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 on a no, level, no, no, all the excitement's no, no, gone. No, and you're like, oh, no. shit, what do I have to no. look forward to? You've made money. No. You, you fought. No. Yeah, you know. No, because no the, chance, Yeah, man. because the, I'm, I'm telling after you. My, bro, after I beat Temper, I, I, I got back home. I had a nice big fat pizza with my girlfriend. We were chilling. Oh. And I was just eating good. You, should, you know, you should and start a dating. Back, you should start a dating app. I watched back the knockout over and over and over again. I even touched myself, bro. I was Ooh, see, you start, you start saying weird things to me, man. Yeah, brother. You start saying saying weird. Yo, is How many times, King, King? Is this drama? what I did, Listen, brother? I want a drama alert. Is KSI bisexual? Oh, <laughs> I got a drama alert for everyone right now. <laughs> Dylan Dennis finally showed up. He's on stage. <laughs> Hey, yo, just don't pull out. Just don't pull out in it. Are you talking to me or Dylan Dennis? I'm talking to you, Oh, bro. come on, man. Be serious. You're not playing with these kids anymore. You know, you like, this is just a real fight. You're going to, it's going to be fun. Okay, all right. Sick. All right. I'm excited. It's you on where to pull Dylan, out. Dylan, are you there? Are we getting trolled right now? Is that actually Dylan Dennis, Chris? Oh, man. <laughs> Get this fool out. It's Dylan. This is Get Dylan this Dennis. Out, man. But he's saying quite. JJ, is how much of a tougher test is Joe Fournier than Dylan Dennis? Oh, mate, Dylan Dennis is a shit on my on the end of my foot, bro. He ain't nothing. <laughs> I literally, the only reason I wanted to fight Dylan was to get the MMA community on my uh, to watch my fight, so that then when I eventually fight uh, Jake Paul, they're like, "Oh shit, yeah, Jake ain't shit." That's the, it was all just a business play. Dylan, are you on? I don't think this works, I don't know. We can we, hear we you. can hear you. Is it working? It's working. Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, what's up? Man, get this Shut fucking off, pussy out so, Why'd you pick this play with Fournier, huh? Oh, it's, I, I, you know, honestly, yeah, you... nah, I'm off. I can't be asked. I'm going to say something mad. Yeah, something mad. Nah, I, don't, yeah. I got too much on the line, so fuck Dude. you, bro. Go fuck yourself. How much did you pay on the Tito 4? Dylan Dennis, pipe down, son. Uh, Where did you come out from? Yo, now, you're just been, you were, uh, now you're being disrespectful. Look, remember when mate. you paid? You were no, you were offering to pay me to spar you and take it easy on you. Do you remember that? Me? Yeah, and then you paid David Hay to take it easy on you. Now you now you're just lying. So now you're a liar as well. You just, you just make things up. Show okay, proof. Well, show, show the proof. I had the proof. Never spoke to you before in my life. Oh yeah, not at Gotham Gym in Manhattan. What you you offered the trainer gym? to take it easy on you. What are you talking about? Never sparred in Gotham Gym in Manhattan in my life. You're like, uh, you're like DuPont from Foxcatcher, bro. You pay people to take it easy on you. <laughs> what are you talking about? See, yeah. listen, at least I turn up to the fights, okay? Yeah. But you know, I'm a real fighter. And, uh, no, but you, what do you mean? I'm more real fighter than you. Because you know what happens in a real fight? You sign a contract, you show up. You don't, you don't have a mental breakdown the weeks before and don't show up. All right. You're the reason I had to diet before as an alternate for no reason when I was having fun in Tulum. Now you have the cheek to come out here and start talking shit when I don't even fucking know you. No wonder why KSI thinks you're a cunt. I'm no reward, to be honest. I just remember yeah, the well, you fucking, you, know, you, know, you don't know what happened. You're just full of shit. See, you're just proving guy. yourself. You're proving yourself to be full of shit. Yeah, Gotham Jim. Gotham Jim. Gotham Jim. Can you spar with them and take it easy on spar them? Like, there, is no, there, is no, gonna, there is no room to spar in Gotham Jim. I've only ever been to Gotham Jim two times in my life. Right, and you weren't there. So stop talking shit. You're like the movie Fox, uh, Foxcatcher, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dylan, 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 Dylan. Dylan. You're like the movie Bottle Jump. 
Yeah, you're a bottle job. You like, you like, you can't how fucking much you show up to a fight. You yeah. can't show up to a fight. Okay, you just got to show up. You've been over fighting years, bro. Show yeah, up. You, I, I do because I show you up. You go to fucking dog pound never, and hit the fucking guy for 20 yeah. minutes. And go oh, now I've got from dog pound. What, what are you talking about, you dumbass? You feel free at any point to sign a fight against me. You're not going to real feel free, feel free at any point to sign a fight against me. Feel you put free. the VR boxing on and go fucking play in your room. Yeah, that's what you do, buddy. You're just a tweeter. You're a professional tweeter. You're We're not a professional fighter. Then, don't worry, we go fight. You're, <laughs> oh, you're a professional tweeter. You talk shit, you tweet, you pretend you're going to fight, and then you don't show up, and you waste everyone's time and sure. everyone's money. Yeah, that's all you do. And if, and, if, and, if, and if your mum didn't have a sugar daddy, right, you yeah. would be fighting all the time for like 50 bucks in a little pub. But really, it's like your mum's sugar daddy pays for your life. So shut the fuck up, you muppet, and know who you're talking to. Just because I'm nice to others, right. yeah? Guys, Just because I'm nice to others, guys, don't get guys. it twisted. At all. Okay? Guys, Fucking guys, guys, guys. I think if, Joe, if things don't go your way on the 13th, mm -hmm. right? This could, this, would you fight no, Dylan? I would wanna, you guys I want to waste my time, to be honest. Because you wouldn't show up. What are you talking about? You wouldn't show up. But don't worry. If your mum needs another sugar daddy, I'm happy to build the squad. I pay enough rent here. Don't I got to pay rent idea. in Dylan, Manhattan. Dylan. Fucking Dylan, idiot. What would happen if, Dylan, 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 what would happen if, this guy's Dylan, talking, what would happen if you fought Joe Connor? This guy's Connor. talking about KSI gang and he said, this guy's a fucking... <laughs> you're, a professional, you're, you're a professional tweeter. Yeah. yeah. Dylan, you were supposed to fight, you know, JJ or whatever. For some reason, that fight didn't happen. Yeah. But at that one press conference, Anthony Taylor went out in the parking lot, hit you a couple times. Do, do you do you want to get revenge for that? Do you want to face Anthony Taylor in any combat sport? He, he was offered a, a fight with me in Bellator, but he turned it down. So in a real fight, would you box him? Uh, I don't think he's worth my time to be honest. He's well, he just lost four in a row, three in a row. I don't think so. I don't think it's worth. Seems it. like an easy fight, easy payday. We yeah, I'd rather stick to real fighting. I'd rather do MMA unless it's you know. I'll tell you a fact: time. Dylan Dennis will never fight a fight ever again. He's professional oh, tweeter. Shut up, shut you up. don't fight anything, mate. Like you're 40 years old you're, and you're paying people you to fucking take it easy. You don't fight anything. Down, you don't fight anything. You're never gonna fight again. You, you don't. You're not mentally there. Oh, you're not bro. mentally there. You pay fighters to train. You're like you're like the sugar baby's oh. baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it does. It does. You're the sugar baby's baby. So pipe down, Dylan. Dylan, Dylan, what Dylan, what happens? Dylan, what happens if you fight Joe Fournier? I've never even seen him fight before. He's a 40-year-old fucking, you know, I don't know. Guys, Sorry. enough with the age stuff. Jeez. <laughs> Anthony Taylor He's wants to a real get fighter, up to in, in the gym, they came and they were like, oh, can you take it easy on this guy? Everybody kind of just like fluffs him up. He pays a bunch of money to everybody. I've never started like, any of those gyms. What are you talking about? You just make things up. I'll post after. I'll post yeah. DMs yeah, after. You're going to no, no, make no, fake DMs, hey, no problem. Check, he paid, check David, this out. He paid, Hold on, uh, Dylan, Dylan. So he paid don't, David Hay. Dylan, he paid David Hay. Like, I just talked to Scott Croker two weeks ago, bro. And he said, listen, I want to set up the fight with Anthony Taylor versus Dylan Dennis and Bellator. You didn't want to sign the contract. So if you really want to put that on life. I think Dylan's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Because now I uh, showed up. Bro, he ran. He told ran. told you he's a professional tweeter. And my money would be on Anthony Taylor all day long. Absolutely. Yo, everybody in this space, hit up Dylan Dennis. Have him fight Anthony Taylor. Come on. We're down. We'll set it up. He's just full of shit. He didn't like that. He couldn't handle the pressure. Oh, uh, I don't like that. Man, come on, Dylan. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. Have I given you enough entertainment for today? I've got Miss Paraguay looking extremely wonderful on my balcony. And I feel like she's getting irritated at me talking shit to random people I've never met. Drop to one knee. <laughs> yeah. That way JJ doesn't have another dig on you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quickly, let me get some girls pregnant so JJ's not mad at me being 40 single with no kids. What do you mean? It's living the dream. <laughs> Hugh Hefner wasn't, didn't die unhappy, put it that way. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks a lot. It's really nice to meet you all. I wish everyone gets what they want out of all of this and succeeds in life. I want to thank uh, Mams for making it happen. And uh, I'm excited to fight JJ and, and, and knock him out gracefully. And uh, hopefully do a few more with you guys. Joe, promise me you're going to log out of that Twitter as soon as we're literally, done. I'm gonna, <laughs> literally, I'm going to start, start DMing Dylan Dennis from your Twitter account as soon as I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
I think Chris, Chris Ridgeway might lose a couple of girls he's been. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be like sliding to Joe's Fournier's Instagram. That's the only platform he uses. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. Yeah. Thanks, Take Joe. Bye, bye. Thank you, guys. We'll wrap it there. Thank you all. Thank hey, you. Chris, a couple of questions before we go. Yo. A couple of questions. For who? For, from, from the floor? Yeah. I'm going to bring Slim back in because we, we lost Slim before. Let, let me bring Slim back on. I know he was listening. We, we do have other fighters that are on the card um, uh, on the prelims. Or at least they were in here. I did see them. Um, but I, I really enjoyed that exchange, right? We're, we're seeing like two different styles of, of mental games. You know, JJ's hitting them with the threats and, and the hostility and Joe's trying to play cool guy. It's like interesting to see these two different styles battle. That It really is like a battle of the, like you say, Kim, very different wits, isn't it? JJ has, has come forward and he's very, very confident with good reason. But Joe... Joe, Joe is different. Joe, Joe doesn't rise to it in the same way. I think though he does, he does get a little annoyed, but he shows it in a different way. You know? Yeah, yeah. You can, you can clearly tell that there were moments where, it, you know, you might be seeing like false confidence from Joe, like you know, or or even JJ. Really, like there, there were all these different moments where you get to kind of see the mind games being played and how important it is prior to a fight. Well, one thing's one thing's interesting. Um, people from around the scene, when when we let it be known, kind of to the inner circle, that KSI Joe was happening. Um, JJ's former manager and Liam, um, who's also very heavily involved in the scene and manages Gib and Deji and um, and Jay Swingler, who's now retired. Um, Liam was like, "Mate, are you sure? That's 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 a really tough fight." And a surprising person I had a conversation with about that was Nikisa, who's Jake Paul's manager. And he was like, "That's you guys are going for that fight. I'm very surprised. Um, so I think it's, it's funny, but that there is a lot of, a, there is a crowd of people who are like not underestimating him, but there's a lot of people who are underestimating him as well. I think it's a tough fight and it's natural for either fighter to, I mean, JJ is one of the most confident people and if self-belief fuels him, it really does. And he's one of those guys who manifests his reality from his self-belief being his fuel. But as a human being, we've all got to have those moments of doubt. And I'm sure something, some, some bit of doubt has gone through uh, Joe's, Joe's mind. What if this happens? What if that happens? You know, it's just human nature. So I don't know. But I think, look, for me, I'm... I, I obviously I think I I do believe JJ will win this, but I'm nervous. I was nervous for, for Swarms. I was nervous for Pineda. I was nervous for all of the fights. This one I'm going to be uh, more nervous than any of the fights. So, you were nervous for Pineda. <laughs> I was nervous for Pineda for about the first for the first ten seconds, and then I was pissed off. I was like, "Why is this guy not? This looks terrible. Like, why is he not fighting? This is not." Main event worthy. Um, and don't, don't, <laughs> don't worry, Mams. I was also nervous for Pineda because during that entire fight, I was like, oh my God, ghosts are real. Who's hitting him in the back of the head? <laughs> yeah, no, it was... Look, at the end of the day, you never know. A fight's a fight. Everyone has a puncher's chance. Um, we've seen things happen that are stranger than, you know, the, than any potential outcome in a in a, a misfits boxing match some you know some really crazy shit that's unpredictable has happened in the past in combat sports so you never never know but at the end of the day i think jj has prepared he's mentally physically in peak condition and he's elevated massively so you know we move with confidence and hopefully after this fight um <laughs> we're gunning for tommy fury um and if 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 Jake comes back around, let's see what happens. There's so many possibilities. So there's a lot of exciting stuff. And the winner of the Kingpin tournament and all these other things as well. Salt Pappy, Winderson. There's a lot of prospects. So, you know, it's it's gonna be an exciting next couple of uh ne it's gonna be an exciting year ahead. The thing that gets me about this fight, man, was with, with with KSI and Joe, Joe is clearly very experienced in the ring, clearly knows how to handle himself. 
you know, he's, he's been in there, like you say, with, with these fights before and, and got this high level belt, etc. However, one thing that he says, and I told him this to him in Miami, was he says, Oh, I'll happily take a couple shots from KSI in order to land some. You then see KSI's power, and all right, everyone can hit the bag and look great doing it, but the power that he generates is ridiculous. That's not smart for any fighter, surely, to go in there and go, yeah, I'm just going to take a couple of them because then I'll land a couple. That's that's a big gamble from Joe. Well, Joe, Joe is a guy who shells up really nicely, has an amazing defense, and then comes with the counters right after. So, you know, JJ's aware of that. I'm sure, you know, everyone can talk a big game, but underneath it all, the teams are studying tape on each other. And, and let's, you know, let's see. I mean... What was really impressive, what's amazing is London Shoot Fighters and JJ have such a close relationship and, and they have a really, they have, they they really come up with great game plans. Like with Temper, what JJ did to Temper, he wouldn't do that necessarily with any uh, any other fighter. So it was tailor-made game plan for him. And that's what London Shoot are really good at with JJ. So I'm, I don't know what the inner, you know, what the, inside secrets are on, on his game plan to beat Joe, but I'm confident that they're going to have a really good plan. Just quickly, before we wrap this up, man, there's the other fights on the card, Deji Swarms and uh, and Anthony Salt Papi, the, the, the big two fights, obviously, um, Anthony's still with us on the call. <clears throat> Just what do you think of those? Where, where, do, where do winners and losers go from there? That's, that's Anthony versus Salt is a really, there's, there's, big consequences for the winner and for the loser, you know? I think if if Anthony wins that fight, it elevates him and it gets him to another level. He's not going to be the gatekeeper anymore. You know, right now he's kind of the gatekeeper. He has a lot of personality, sells a fight really well, but he'll be demonstrating like, okay, yeah, you can't, you can't get past me so easily. And I think that will birth a lot of opportunities for him. For Salt Pappy, it elevates him. It's the Salt Pappy train has you know, is, is going 200 miles an hour, can it be derailed? But if it can't and he wins decisively against Anthony Taylor, that's that says a lot. And it definitely brings... There's other fights potentially that um, I've looked at for both winner and loser on, on that. So there's, there's a lot riding on that. Deji and Swarms, it's... Again, I mean, if, if Swarms can pull off... Um, what everyone is 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 you know underestimating him and saying saying that he's not going to he doesn't have the ability to if he can do that that surely puts him in the upper echelon where he's got a chance to fight the slims the pappies the you know I mean if he beats Deji I think I think he he definitely elevates I think him against Ashley Raksu would be good after that if he won that fight and then the, if he beats Ashley who has a credible win against Kenny then we've got We've got some other uh, good opportunities as well. And then obviously for Deji, he's expected to win. Um, if he lost that, I think it would be a big step back. But if he if he wins, um, you know, it, it's maybe he doesn't have quite as much to gain as Swarms does on that fight in particular. I got to say, I disagree. I think the Swarms and Deji fight is anyone's anyone's fight. I I I I, I think it could go either way. I mean, obviously Deji has the experience, but Swarms just took out Ryan Taylor and broke his eye socket like one punch man, you know. And we've seen Swarms like improve so much from that fight with JJ. Like Swarms might be the real deal. Swarms is an athlete. He's come from a f football background. He's definitely an athlete. He's an athletic guy. He was moving around even in those few seconds a lot better than the twirling ballerina stuff he did with JJ. So he's come a massive long way. You can see that from his physique as well. And his uh, he's in there two to three times a day. Um, and he's fully committed. But Deji, I think, I think we've all said it before, he's, he's quite a natural boxer and he moves around in the ring really well. So it's more of a mentality thing for him. If Deji can commit fully to being present with his training, not skipping any of it, and, and being 100% being uh, fueled and hungry to win this fight, then it's, 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 a, tough, it's a tough night for anyone in, in his weight category. So who wins between Anthony Taylor and Saul Poppy? Because I'm not answering that question. <laughs> no, I never answer these questions. I was with Saul Poppy today, you know. He's looking good. 
I know Anthony's here and I know he can hear us, but Anthony, I've got to say, this is a hell of a fight. He's looking good. Man, so this is today. this an easy fight. This is an easy fight for me, bro. Like, like going, I fought Tommy Fury and Aegis. That was a hard fight. This is the easiest fight I ever had in my life. I don't care what y'all say. Compared to, if anybody can say this, if they say, oh, how do you feel about Tommy Fury and Virgo against Saul Poppy? You'd be like, man, I'd rather fight Saul Poppy 10 out of 10 than fucking Virgo and Tommy Fury. This is an easy fight. I'm going to win this fight. <clears throat> and after I win this fight, I'm going to either try to fight the winner of Kingpin or if Gib, big nose ass, don't want to fight or whoever want to fight or whoever ma'am says, hey, Anthony, I want you to fight this dude. I'll fight whoever ma'am want me to fight. If man says fight Logan Paul, I'm gonna fight Logan Paul. I'll I'll give that to you. You have never. You're probably, I'm, I'm sure maybe there's one or two others, but you're the only one who's never given me any hesitation. If I say King Kong, you'll say yes. Like you've Absolute proven that. Absolutely. I respect he, he that. He said, "I've seen Rockman." Chris. I'll say, "Yep." Yeah. 